What we're going to do here is take a PowerPoint and show you how you can put information on your PowerPoint, save it as a JPEG, upload it to a, a program called PhotoBucket. It's on the website, and then convert it or transfer it to a QR code. The first thing we want to show you is, is the fact that we have some lines here, and we want to change our layout. Just simply click on Layout and Blank and get rid of all that. Then I'm going to right-click and format our background. You should pick a background if you're going to put letters and words down here that's easy to see. So I clicked on Picture or Texture Fill. Click on my down arrow, and I'm going to choose this one. Now, I could hit Apply to All if we had a whole bunch of slides, but we don't. I'm going to hit Close. Next, I want to put information or words in there, so I'm going to click on Insert, Text Box, and make my text box right about here. Next, I want to change my font, and to do that, I'm simply going to click on my down arrow, and I'm going to scroll down to Comic Sans, and let me find that, Comic Sans, and then I want to change it to 28. This way people in the back of the room can see it, and I'm going to make it bold, and also I'm going to change the color of my font to black. Now, I don't want to do this every time I type something into this PowerPoint, so I'm going to right-click on there and hit Save as Default. This means every time I bring up a text box, it will be Comic Sans 28, bold, and black. Hopefully that makes sense. Now the next thing I'm going to do is transfer some words here. And to do that, I've already gone to the Internet to save time and looked up to kill a mockingbird. I'm simply going to copy and paste, or you could have just typed some information in there. But to make this a quicker video, let me go ahead and copy and paste that. So now you'll notice that we have some information stored here in a Word document or Word format that's in our PowerPoint. The question is, why are we doing this? Well, unfortunately, if you looked at your QR code, if you put too many words in there, it gets too compressed and it can't handle all that, and you'll probably get an error. However, if you place your Word documents into a JPEG, as I'm doing here, you could probably take quite a few of these and upload it to the Internet, and this way the QR code will use this as a reference. Hopefully that made sense. It's unfortunate at this point in time you have to do that, but that's the way it is. Okay, so here's what I have. I have my Word document and my background, and you can see it's going to be easy to read. And now I have to convert this to a JPEG. And that's easy to do, too. That's our next step. Okay, next we have already created a folder. I'm going to click on the word File, Save As, and we're going to place it as a PowerPoint presentation in this folder. The question is, why do we do PowerPoint when we're supposed to make a JPEG? Here's the reason. Redundancy. If we make a mistake, we always have the PowerPoint now to go back and make a correction. Next, I'm going to go back again, hit Save As, but this time instead of PowerPoint or presentation, I'm going to call it Photo for Class. And instead of a PowerPoint, I'm going to click my down arrow and click on JPEG and the pull-down menu. Then I'm going to click on Save. And if I have more than one slide, I can hit every slide, but I only have one. I'm going to click on Current Slide Only. And now it's saved, and I'll show you what I mean. Here it is. It's located as a photo, and here it is as a PowerPoint. So this one's a JPEG that we can upload. And this one is a PowerPoint. Remember redundancy. We backed it up. Obviously, there's not much here, but for you, there may be quite a few things that you wish to, wish to back up. Okay, now we're going to go to the website, and let me show you what that is. Before we go to the Photo Bucket website, you'll notice on this website that we provided for you, we have a link here for creating a code. We have a link here for uh, creating a code with your voice. We have a link here to create a code by just simply typing in words. And we have the photo bucket, and that's the one we're going to go to in a second. And we're also providing you with videos to show you how to do all of these things. 
which you're hopefully at this point in time aware of. Now, when you go to Photo Bucket, you must remember you're going to upload your photo as a JPEG. Now, this is key. When once you upload it, you get so much. You have plenty of room up there, data room, I should say. However, if you delete your photo, it's for whatever reason, whomever is using it as a link, it's gone. It's no longer there. So once you have it up there, you have to keep it up there for as long as you plan on using it. Because once you take it down, uh, people will have dead links and their QR code won't work. So you're going to click this on. Now this is free. And to log on, it's going to be your email and a password of your choice. I've already taken the liberty of going to my photo bucket. And we'll go to that in a few seconds. Okay, here we are, and I'm going to click on Upload. And in doing so, choose the photo you wish to upload. And here's mine, and I'm going to simply click on Open. Here's my photo. It says give it a title. I'm just going to call it Photo. <clears throat> and here is the link. Now, you'll notice that we have quite a few links here. The one you're looking for is this one. Now, remember, this is the, these are other previous ones I've already uploaded. But here's the one we're looking at. I'm going to click on Direct Link. And when I do that, we just copied it into the memory of the computer. Next, I'm going to go to my website that's going to create a code. I'm going to place it here and hit Control-V to paste. Now... Here is the link for the you here here's the URL for the photograph and you can see it says JPEG at the end. I'm going to create a code and in creating this code now remember you can take this QR code and you can paste it on a PowerPoint on a Word document um, you can place it on a piece of paper you can place it even in a video so people can grasp it. So you'll see all these dots here, and this is the reason why we placed all those words in a JPEG, because if we were to type them all in here, what would happen is it would be really dense. And because of that, it would take forever to upload, and there's an excellent chance that you would have an error. Now, let's go to the next section. What you see in front of you is the scanner, I just simply scan that code and you'll notice that here is the URL and the word JPEG that you saw before. And here is the actual picture itself that we scanned up on the website. So it's pretty clear. Now just remember that if you ever delete delete the picture from that website from Photobucket, you've also deleted any access to it from anybody scanning in that code. So once you place it up there, it's got to be pretty much permanent, if that's the right word. Okay, so there ends how to create a JPEG and upload it to Photobucket and get your uh, QR code and also be accessible on the website.